Do you want to reduce the CPU usage of your PC? Keep watching. Because my system is not even using that much and I'm recording at this moment. I have Discord open, Chrome, Task Manager itself also calls CPU uses by the way, and Zen Browser, which is my own personal browser. So how to reduce this is by disabling things in the background. So the first thing I recommend you do is right click on this Windows icon and go to Task Manager. After doing this, it will depend if you're on Windows 10 or 11, because here in 11, we can go to this icon before we see startup apps. Right here, we can disable everything. Make sure that you click on status, so it filters, and you disable everything you see. I mean everything, don't leave anything on, because everything you turn on here will be started up with your system and draining power away from your system. So if I disable my things right here, you can see that everything will increase. Drive will always be uploading files. If it has changed anything, memory duct will, will actually um, clean my memory in all. I really like that. I share X is my own screenshot tool. So for me, I can keep those three on, but you should be disabling pretty much everything. By the way, I also have an upcoming Windows 11 best install guide coming up and I'm not talking about just Windows 11 I'm talking about the least bloatware version of Windows where you have almost no CPU usage probably 8 to 4 percent if you're not recording at all and that's what I'm experiencing on my laptop which is great by the way this is a different Windows this is a virtual machine so I can show you some things if you type apps or background apps you can actually see installed apps and if we click here and we go to apps themselves you can actually see startup also here and this is pretty much a bloatware version of windows so you can see a lot of things are turned on so let's just turn them off it's the best thing you can really do um, and if you do this and restart your system you will see that there's already a lot less uh, cpu usage so if i open the task manager right here this is a virtual machine do mind here you can see that it is uh, not using that much in, of course, idle mode. But what we can also do is make sure our CPU is not throttling, throttling hard for the PC to work. So what we can also do is go to power plan. If you type this, you can see this option at its power plan. And let's go here and you can see that it is now on balanced. So let's go to power options. You can see it right here and now we can change the power plan. Right here, you can see that I have three options. Balance, power saver, and high performance. It's a possibility your system won't display high performance, but we can easily disable it with one command. If you go to the description of this video, you will see that I have pasted this, and you can find that below. So if you paste this one into CMD, so let's open CMD itself, you can see command prompt, make sure you select run as administrator. After doing this, you have to click on yes, very simply, give permission. Right here, make sure you do control V. And now we paste the script itself and it should actually now uh, be starting up. So right here, you can see we have the ultimate power scheme. So the ultimate performance. So let's go back to power plan. I'm just going to show you right here, power options that we have the ultimate performance mode. Do mind don't turn this on on a laptop if you want to use it with the battery because this will use a lot of battery over time so make sure you put it on balance the power saver if you have to go outside or something right here i'm just gonna put it on ultimate performance this virtual machine this windows will be running a lot faster now uh, uh, without wasting any uh cpu uh, power for it right here you can see it is going lower it's going to four percent three percent because i'm not doing anything but you see the difference between the other power plant and this one it will drain more power but your cpu usage will be lower therefore you probably get more out of your pc before it says like hey i'm full i can't work anymore so this is probably going to help you a lot. By the way, we are working hard on these videos. Make sure that you check out our promotions because we want to make sure that this tech community can keep growing, finding the highest performance tech tips, everything like that. I just want to do that and it is my favorite thing to do. So make sure you check that out and subscribe down below because this will help us a lot. I can make great videos, best videos about every single Windows tip, best apps, 
Uh, we're also going to do Mac OS, Linux, everything like that. Coding, if you're interesting, interested in it, um, we're going to make more channels. Everything is going to grow and we will make sure that it works. But yeah, continue on. Um, you also have some other tweaks. For example, what I recommend you do is you turn off animations. I mean, come on. Ugh, I hate animations. It's so jiggery and you should turn it off. I mean, come on. If you turn it off, it will feel like your PC is a lot faster. Of course, starting up depends on your CPU power, but it's like, it, it feels more snappy, you know? So I recommend you turn off animations. Very simple. Start, up, start menu, animation effects, turn them off. There's another one. Go to start menu, game mode settings. Make sure that you turn it on. Optimize your PC for play, turning off things in the background. Backguard apps are gonna drain your CPU and memory. You wanna reduce that. So if this video helped you, make sure you drop a like down below. We need that and comment down below. If you have any more tips to us or more questions, we will answer them all. So <laughs> I will see you in the next one. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.